super fragile, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Lolly. This reminds me of lollipop. Come here, lollipop. Come here, lolly. Come here, girl. I'm gonna put you up here. What's that song made by? Lollipop, that. Lollipop, 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 Hey girlfriend. Hey girlfriend. Hey girlfriend. Dum dum lollipop, 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 The only reason I know that song because of Chicken Little. Mama gave me lollipop. Tell you why. Am I gonna get copywritten? This is not my song, okay, you guys. No, things get copywritten because of the beat. Lollipop, lollipop, lollipop. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Don't do the beat. It's the, uh, what is that so, uh, movie that it's on? Friends or... Chicken uh, Little. No, it's on my, on that show that I watched when I was growing up, it was like the kids and they were jumping on the bed and something. Hey, I'm getting it mixed up. She always pants as hard. You guys know this, right? So she actually... If you haven't watched her prior grooms, please go back and do so. She's gonna. We've done different coats, cuts, and we've done a guard cut. wasn't wasn't short enough. Did a ten. It was too short. So we're set down straight at the seven. Her hair is real thick and it has these. It gives a lot of lines. She has um, bone degeneration. Uh, it is what I'm calling it, but her bones are not the same as normal dogs. And he just told me, you know, after our, and this is reiteration because we've done this before. Um, she's one of the clients that had to go to A&M University because no veterinarian could help her. So she had a um, hip dysplasia, real young, real young dog, had hip dysplasia and two torn ACLs. And then what they had sent to a specialist, another specialist, another specialist, and finally they got to A&M and then he just verified, you know, A&M, uh, university in Texas or whatnot, um, I think I'm saying that right, they, he, she ruptured a meniscus, and so that's what they ended up fixing. He said everything else, the way the bone degeneration worked for her was that it just grew this stuff all over her bones and her joints and where it fixed it, it kind of fixed itself, but she's not, fra she's not limber. She can't move her legs like a normal dog. She's, um, real stiff you couldn't just move her arms and back and stuff like normal dogs can do certain things she can't do those things so she goes to the goat walk. recently we had Jackson uh, the Labradoodle the brown and white one I went to the vet with him and all that stuff and uh, he, he I need to check on him today it's been a few days you kind of don't want to be all up in their grill you know so I need to check on him but the last thing that they had to do was last week Monday or Tuesday, he that pet parent was also driving to A&M because no veterinarian could actually help them here either. So that's what's up, man. That's what's up. So here we go with Lolly. We're gonna do a seven all over. That tells you a lot about veterinarians. Does it? Yeah. I don't know if that tells you a lot about veterinarians or. Yeah, because they, in reality, should every still veterinarian be, is different, and every should, veterinarian has their should, own no, experience. Because they should still be studying. I'd, like even though they're veterinarians, they should still be studying and learning new things. But once you become a veterinarian, you're like, why study? I already know most of the things. No, I don't know. I can't speak. To, I, that's not my. I'm not saying that. To this? Oh, inside the inside the bag because it's getting dusty. I can't speak for that. I know as a realtor that we are required a certain amount of hours, and I'm sure, you know, as a doctor, a lawyer, a veterinarian, I am sure you still have to go continued education. I, you have to. If a real estate agent has to, I'm sure you have to. I could be wrong, but I don't know. You have to figure that out. I'm not sure. I didn't know David was going to go live, so what's up? I'm not ready for you, really. It is what it is. <laughs> no, we're good. 
gonna go down to seven. And she was just in here a month ago. They had to cancel an appointment because their flight was late. So then they skipped that one kind of thing and then they came in on schedule or something like that. And then uh, I texted, I called her, actually called her yesterday, like yesterday evening and said, you know, usually we need a 24 hour cancellation notice, but if you come in tomorrow, it throws everything off. I said, do you still want to come in? And you're, you're usually due at the two month mark. And I said, I'll waive any fees for cancellation within the 24 hours if you want to, I don't mind. Cause it's not like, you know, she was trying to cancel on me. And mom said, no, she goes, we'll keep it. And she goes, matter of fact, go ahead and um, start, change them all. All right, we talked about it. I said, let me cancel everything you got on the books for the year. And then we'll remake the schedule. Hopefully it works out. Cause she wants to come in like two weeks earlier than normal. So this puts them, this will put them at about a six week groom where they were really at a eight week room, eight to eight to nine week room. So that's kind of cool, right? I was like, you know what? I really appreciate you. You know, thanks a lot. And she goes, no, you can keep the appointment. So she's not hugely grown out here, but they still wanted to do the groom. And I said, hey, okay, you know, I'm teaching you a little bit here how to talk to your client, right? And so I said, hey, I said, she shouldn't be really grown out. If I was all about money, I would not be talking to my client like this. So I said, she shouldn't be that grown out. Do you want to just do it? If you want to still keep the appointment, do you want to just do a bath package? Like bath, brush, ears, nails, like that. And she goes, no, Dee Dee, you know what? She gets hairy really fast. Go ahead and keep her full appointment. And then can't, and I said, I'm going to cancel all the rest of them. And she said, yeah, do that so that we can schedule it and get us to, you know, come in earlier. Come in more, more earlier. And I thought, wow, this is, this is great. Okay. This hair is so thick. I mean, this is like, what, this is four weeks of hair growth here. Still thick. I'm using my Andis 5 Speed 7 blade. How many of you guys have a Andis 5 Speed that you ordered from somewhere else and had to send it back and order the one on our website because something was wrong with the first one you ordered? You realized it wasn't real or it was missing something or it wouldn't cut? How many of you guys have already been through that? Look at all this hair. Look at this dress going here. So with really thick hair, you know, you can go ahead and if you want, get your brush out and help you help yourself. I started with the two speed edel and uh, it took so long. It took working with someone else that had the five speed for me to learn, learn to, I sold my two speed. You know, I bought the five speed, then sold my two speed, and then I bought another five speed. Like, that's how I went. Because you need, always need a backup if you're a groomer. And I'm, I want to say I had that uh, two speed as my backup for a minute, too. You, 
if you buy the right tools, you're not throwing anything away. If you buy these, uh, thing, you know what I'm talking about, those real cheap ones, you're not going to sell that again. <laughs> no one's going to buy that. Not for what you paid, and it's not going to, you know, no, it's totally different. You buy the right tools the first time, you'll be able to resell them in most cases. But don't take what I'm teaching you here and then go buy something over here, knock off, and then be like, oh, they wouldn't buy it. No, you, I, if you're buying something you need to, and you're learning it from me, if you're coming here and you're saying, I want to do exactly that, and then I, and then call me up and say, hey, Dee, you know, I bought some clippers, but they're not cutting right. I got, you know how many calls I got like that? And I'm like, where'd you buy them from? I can't help you. I mean, if, if, if you bought them somewhere else, you should be calling them. Don't buy the clippers, have problems with them, and then call me up. Call them, because they're the ones that, you know, got your money. Right? They're the ones that should be picking up the phone after they sold you that stuff. In my opinion, I think that's, do you guys agree? Are you going to buy a pair of clippers from me and then go call, you know, XYZ and ha say, hey, I bought some clippers from my favorite groomer, and they're not cutting. I've never even heard that, but they're not cutting. They'll be like, call her back then. And because I'm going to talk to you about what you're doing. It might not be the clippers. It might be something you did. You took it apart. You dropped it. You broke a tooth. You slid the blade out and started doing something something with it. You put some kind of Clorox bleach in there. It could be all kinds of things you did to the blade. It has nothing to do with the clipper. Oh, you dropped the clipper. Well, that'll do it, you know. You got to own up and you make some sac like you make some mistakes yourself. Real, real gentle up here so that I don't have to make too harsh of a line. Real, like, nice and until I come off the neck a little bit. That way it's easier to fade that up with my foreguard is what I'm probably going to try to use. I've seen some of you guys order the face mask last night. That's awesome. If you don't have a face mask yet, you ought to get one. And use it everywhere. Just have that baby in your pocket, man. You're cutting the lawn, put the face mask on. Real bad pollen in the morning, put the face mask on. It will, it will help. It may not prevent 100% of something happening, but it will definitely help. And I hate it when you like forget something, I'll have brought it home and I'll be washing, you know, like my face mask. And I go mobile groom and I'm like, oh man, it's hang drying right there by the washer, you know. And I'll look around. So that's why I decided a, a few months back, six months ago or so, I was like, I need to have one, or maybe a year now. I need to have one in my purse and I need to have one at work and I need to have one, yeah, like that. So I have them hanging here. And I have them hang, oh, don't go anywhere. No, you can't go anywhere yet. I have them here, and I have one in my purse. Because <laughs> this one day, I mean, I was looking for everything. I forgot what it's like to not have a face mask, man. I was mobile grooming, which means there's no ventilation. I'm blow drying while the dog is there, and I'm there all in this, like, 10 by 10 area, 8 by 8 area. I'm breathing in exactly what I'm blow drying out of the body, right back into my lungs. And I'm going, this, I can't do this. So I get a towel, man, and I did one hand blow drying and one hand holding the towel over my mouth. And that was my learning lesson. I was like, I am not doing this again. That wasted, I wasted my whole left hand just holding the towel in place. Because when I first started grooming, no one told me to have a face mask. And looking back, man, I, I blew dry some sitting down on a stool for an hour with a Labrador Retriever and the coat's really dirty still. Oh, blow drying it directly into my face. It's like, no wonder my pores were dirty. <laughs> There's all this gunk blowing right directly back into my skin and in my nose and my eyes. No wonder I have dri drippy eyes now, you know? I have issues with my eyes now. 
I wish someone would have said, Dee Dee, you know, if you're going to bathe dogs here during training, Dee Dee, when you bathe dogs and you blow dry them, all that stuff is going to be something you suck down. And if I were you, I would go get some kind of a face mask. I'd have been like, you know what? I have some. I don't know why I didn't think of it, man. I didn't think of it early on. My mom had to go, Dee Dee, this is a dirty job. My mom said, Dee Dee, this is a dirty job. Where's your face mask? That's the first thing she said when she came to my salon one day. I'm glad you told me. You still don't listen, though? Yeah, I do. You do not listen, man. Oh, look, a new member. New member, Alexandra Stokes. Thanks for becoming a member. Um, Annie 3, thanks for the 199 support. Everyone donated a dollar! Melissa P, thanks for the five bucks. Thanks, Melissa P. It was great playing game with you last night. That was fun. I was so tired. I, I came in at, you know, 5.30 this morning, too. Yesterday, too. We have some stuff we gotta get done. And sometimes you gotta work those extra hours, and it don't matter how early you gotta come in, but let me tell you, I was, I was tired. That's true. Those extra hours pay off. Look at my face mask, man. Look how hairy it is. I washed it. That's a washed face mask. Look. Time for a new one. That one's like two years old. Or oh, actually, let me see. Is that, is that one of mine and I gave this it to you? This is the sucky one that has the metal thing in it. Yeah. No, we don't even carry those. Um, so those, that one's, I had it and then I passed it down to David. And David's been using it for two years, but that one was made to buy somebody different. Did that lady ever come back with the extremely mad dog that didn't want to shave? Yep, today. We recorded it. Oh. We recorded it today. Are you talking about Max, the Couton? Couton de Tulier. Today, he was not madded. How much are the clippers? It'll come out soon. The clippers are available yeah, on our really website busy. at myfavoritegroomer.com and they go for $234.99. The, the pink ones and the black ones go for $234.95. They do not carry the and make they do not make the purple or the green anymore. So what you see is what you get. And matter of fact, I know there's not that many left out there for sale because we've been I've been watching how much uh, how many people have the those two colors still. I'm sorry, what color did you just say? Andis has discontinued the purple and the green. Oh, these are pink for a second. No, but what we have for that two thirty four ninety five is the pink and the black. Paula, thanks for becoming a member. Two members? Woohoo! Yeah, be sure I'm not hearing these thing things, if man. You guys, oh, the TV must be down. If you guys want to show some support, oh, there it is. If you guys want to show some support, please become a member or donate a couple bucks. It helps us stream out and helps us keep it going live as this stuff is not easy. Beautiful dog. Yes, this is a very beautiful dog. Well, she's so sweet. She's as sweet as her name, Miss Lollipop. Her name's Lolly, but it just makes sense to say Lollipop. Do you think having the owner reading comments changed her image? Nah. She's actually always like, Max? She's really good with that dog. Like, she's probably the best I've ever seen a pet parent be with a dog that has long hair. Just the only reason she really got off track was because she was out of town visiting her grandkids and she got really sick. She's always on point, like, she's like the only one almost. I don't know, I, that's what I just, that's what I've seen in the past couple well, of years. Well, I mean, she could have just left and fired me, right? She yeah. could have just said, you know what, Dee Dee, I'm out of here. I shouldn't have to do all this work on my dog. I still think something's going on back here. You want to look? I still think something's going on back sure. here. You guys want to look? Let me take you guys. I already, look, I already talked about this before, but there's nothing else you can do. So here. Look at her little telly. See how yellow it is and everything? Really deep in there and stuff. 
And I don't have my hand exposing something. I'm just kind of pushing back there so you can see, like, there's something going on here. It's extremely milky and yellow. Can you not shave all that hair out? I already did. This right here. Oh, it comes back like that. Remember I told you she can't really, she can't even bend her knee right here, so. Yeah, she's like a goat almost. <laughs> Gentle. Urine stains. How long do your clippers stay sharp? The clippers do not stay sharp. The blades are the ones that are sharp, not clippers. So that tells me a little bit about what, what you know <laughs> right there. But a blade, what, what would you say a blade normally stays sharp for you? Do Depends you? on how many dogs you do, doesn't it? Of course. Depends on if you oil your blades and take care of your blades, doesn't it? Of course. So everybody's is going to be different. And you often you don't even have to sharpen them like once a I year. I think I saw. Well, it was the last it. time I went. But that's because sometimes you drop. About once them. a year, I sharpen all of my blades at the same time. You're probably doing about a thousand dogs a year. You think so? Maybe more, actually. Oh, really? Okay, okay, okay. Maybe okay. two thousand. Get your four guard. So we'll go down on the ears here. Man, you are very inspiring. Yes, Didi is very inspiring. She's inspired me every day. Oh, David, David last night was like, Didi, you're a pro groomer. <laughs> He's all sleepy. He's like, Didi, what'd you say? Forgot you're a sleepy. pro groomer. You're the best groomer I've ever. And I said, shut up, man. I was like, no, I'm not. I was like, there's much better groomers out there than me. And he goes, you will always be the pro groomer to me. Nobody's as good as Didi, man. I'm very humble and I'm blessed to be where I'm at. I do not claim to be the best groomer in the world, but I do claim to be your favorite groomer. <laughs> Our favorite groomer. Your favorite groomer. <laughs> Hence the name. You know what I'm saying. Come on, people. I'm not conceited. I never will be. That's a business name, man. For all you guys that don't know, my, my favorite groomer is LLC, so it's a business name. And that means it's really registered. <laughs> it's not fake. Inside joke. Some people copying stuff and they don't know what they're doing. To claim to be an LLC, you should be registered LLC. Don't just say you are. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Because I know you're watching. All right, Lolly, you're just going to look that way? The YouTube is that way. YouTube's that way. Yeah, right there. See? You're so smart. See, right there. Look over there, Lolly. Over there, Lolly. Lolly, over there. <laughs> This is a good girl. Isn't that awesome? I'm booking for July 10th at this point, bro. Uh, my mom taught me this, and you know, everyone teaches you some things, no matter what, good and bad, okay? Both. But my mom said, Didi, just talk to the dogs you own, right, when I first got my first two dogs, Suey and Duke, and she said, just talk to the dogs like they're human, and I did, and I do, so look at, I'm talking to her like she's human, and look at her, she's looking at you, like twice, so smart. These guys, dogs are better than humans, man, they forgive like no human could ever imagine forgiving. They love like no human could ever love unconditionally with no no hold back oh well, i'll love you if you do this for me no that doesn't that's not even in their mind especially if you can win over a really really challenging dog to just fall in love with you he will just never disappoint after you win him over you know okay so because she has those leg issues let's go ahead and get her uh some support here let's get her back on Get her back. Is this my lowest position? Okay, back on that. 
And every now and then I put her knee right here. Okay. I like that. This is just for her. And then I help her with this. Okay. So now we're going to do the pads, but we do need to bend just slightly. I mean, how am I supposed to get underneath, right? Let me bring this up some more. Put your foot here, girl. Okay. She's standing up on it. You're so silly. You're so silly. I don't even, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Let me see. Can you get your knee in there? Barely, huh? Yep, yep, yep. I got you. I got you. I got you right here. I'm steady for a minute. Matted in there a little bit. Okay, good girl. Just in case you're in the Who are they listening to next door, man? Merengue? Yeah. <laughs> I got you. Okay, well, well. here for one groom you guys just one groom today so smash the like button and do your subscription stuff so I can hear your ding ding Wrap it up, we got a toenail trim coming in. What are you guys doing, man? Arturo, we sent your package today. It is on its way. And shipping is freaking ridiculous, man. It's like 30 bucks for a small package, man. To Belize. Can you imagine? What the heck? Shipping's crazy. I think we we're gonna spoil because Amazon does free shipping, but those free shipping numbers are the free the shipping numbers are still there. They're real. Don't think someone's not paying for shipping. Someone's paying for some shipping. Okay, Dee Dee, get that in there. Someone's paying the shipping. I think Amazon does so much shipping that they're able to get a hell of a deal, a much better deal than like an average. A starting company, right? But that's more on them, man. They're freaking billionaires, aren't they? Is it uh, Amazon? Yeah, he's on Shark Tank now. Of course, he's got to be a billionaire. We can dream all we want, right? Just keep dreaming, man. Make it real. Just keep dreaming. If you want to be a billionaire, just make it happen. The sky is the limit. She's on Shark Tank. Did you guys know that Dave and I were watching Shark Tank the other day? I had it on the background. I think it was Sunday, matter of fact, while we were gaming. And he goes, oh, that's Amazon right there. That's the owner of Amazon. I was like, oh, snap, is it? I hadn't watched Shark Tank in a minute. It's pretty dang cool to see people get to that big, isn't it? Isn't it pretty cool?
What would you do if you were a billionaire? Go. Tell me, what would you do if you were a billionaire? Would you take care of your family first and your friends? And would you take care of you first? Would you pay off all your debt? Would you buy a fast car? What would you do if you were a billionaire? I feel like you guys are right here in the same room as me. We're just chopping it up today, huh? Chop, 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 I chop. can't imagine the shipping, Elizabeth. I mean, like, that teaches us to, that other companies should do free shipping. And it's not legit. It's not real. Like, I mean, not legit, but I mean, it's, it's inaccurate. Someone is paying the shipping. Bro, it's like, you're going to deliver, you're going to deliver this for me because I'm Amazon. If you don't, I'm shutting your door. Uh, I don't know about that, but okay. That's what it is, man. Supposedly, didn't they say they were going to stop using US, UPS? Who, Amazon? Yeah. Because what? I don't know, but they're trying to. They're, they're probably not agreeing with something, but that's what they Like I said, you got negotiations. You're yeah. a business of that that size. But Amazon is now giving their employees opportunities to be entrepreneurs and start their own business. Delivering or what? Delivering, yep. So they're hiring people on the inside already to start their own business. Oh, I see. Delivering service. So they're, so they're going to put thing. UPS out of business. Eventually, yep. That's what you think? Eventually they're going to put somebody out of business. Eventually we're going to see one of these big boy companies close up. FedEx, UPS. That's what you anticipate? That's what I think. Just like Toys R Us, how we saw them go. Which, by the way, I do want to go take my picture next to Toys R Us before they tear all those buildings down. It's like Blockbuster. We saw Blockbuster go too. There's one more on it. We need a hustle bustle. I know my clients should be here any minute now. Somebody said I would open more low cost vet cares for animals and train classes for proper grooming. Take care of homeless people <coughs> and animals. What? Yeah, something, right? Okay. You guys wanna you wanna talk about something? <laughs> That's nothing to do with grooming. Pay off house first, then I would donate to Grace Haven to help traffic girls. Oh yeah, 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 exactly. That's a good one. One day we might come back to this video and go, what did we say we were going to do when we were millionaires, billionaires? We'll come back to this video and go, okay, let's do the first one. I want to see what Melissa P said. Take care of homeless children. Homeless children? Yep. Okay, so uh, worldwide or where? Because there's a lot of homeless children everywhere, right? Oh, look at these big, big paws. That's a good okay. one. Take care of the homeless children because the adults are way too far gone. What do you want to talk about that's not pet related? Maybe something that someone said. Let me think. Uh, I can't remember now. Ready to go take a bath? You're looking pretty sexy if you ask me. Start locally, then move outward. Yeah, that's a good idea, Melissa P. That's how it starts. Start locally. Yeah. So you start helping homeless children, which homeless homeless children I already help by all the foster cares. Oh, I was gonna say something like. You got, you know, I love watching documentaries. That's probably, it's 2020 Nightline and documentaries. Every documentary out there, I probably want to see it or have seen it. Or will see it. Um, I gotta take, I gotta take this groom table outside. This, this one? I gotta get ready to do that. No, no, I'm good. I'm good, David. That was yesterday. I needed more help yesterday than I do today. Because yesterday my hand was hurting. Today, my hand's doing fine. Now my shoulder is pinching. 
All right, you guys, we're gonna go to the bath. Love documentaries. So while I move over here and go to the bath, you guys can kind of chit chat about it. But if you get a place where you have a million dollars and you want to help the homeless adults, and then you go, okay, I'm gonna buy 22 acres and I'm gonna build little little sheds and I'm gonna put everybody in their own little shed. And you gotta check in at 5 p.m. and you get your own little shed with a bed and I, it's nice, right? You got a little garden there. You got all these things going on. And then you are you are you going to require drug testing? Because what if everybody is on? crack or cocaine what if somebody is all, all on that and you know if you're watching those documentaries with me what is your requirement then what it you got all these people that are addicted to certain kind of drugs coming in how you can't handle that just taking care of homeless people right it, it turns into a whole drug rehab scenario and then you can't promise there's no promise they're actually going to get off of it right so so are you enable them to have a home to sleep in and a place to stay and then they go back and get drugs every day How, uh, so go ahead go ahead and go with that I w i'm curious to see what you guys think okay that's come on the, that's what the homeless shelters here do nowadays they drug test yeah but so if you're on drugs you can't get checked in no you can't get checked in and they, they'll like bar you from them if you keep being on testing negative because you're wasting their money. So what if 60%, uh, let's say 60% say of every homeless person laying out under that bridge is uh, on drugs? Are you, what are you doing then, public? What's the public doing then? That's the thing, they're on drugs because they don't want to change and they don't want to... They don't, they don't want to change because they can't. They're addicted to something that's just easier to say than done. And, you know, like these documentaries I'm watching, it really does look like if you're on some, what is it that they're on, crack? Or the, the syringe thing? If you're oh, on heroin. the syringe thing, you've crossed a line from coming back to being rehabilitated, I think. I think it, whatever's in that chemical is really, really potent. Like, it's really addicting. Like, we did, we watched that whole Arkansas documentary. And I've lived in Arkansas. I'm like, yeah, you go to the gas station, everybody at the gas station was, you know, messed up. That's nasty all their teeth are half. And you go, why? I'm gonna clean this area real good here. You guys can talk about that while, I can't see what you're talking about, but. Can I get in here and really wash this area good? Maybe testing is a little too much. Good, there's some drugs that stay in your system for like three days. I would do monthly hair follicle testing. That's what I would do. Every time? And then, um, so... Once you do a drug, your hair, your hair follicle is uh, more um, potent. It saves your hair follicle longer than your tea or your saliva. But isn't this an extremely expensive process? I'm sure, yeah. So I've got, okay, I've got, you know, 60 beds. And if I had, you know, money and I had 33 acres, let's just imagine I could house, you know, 2,000 people. So 2,000 drug tests, because I'm sure there's, you know, thus to say I said everybody homeless in the near three, nearby three states can come and use this facility. This is a private facility. And when you, ch I've, ha I've had long thoughts, can you tell? I've had long thoughts about this. So a private facility where you can check in, you have a garden, everybody has to volunteer in the garden every day if you want to eat there, stuff like that, right? And then you have to spend how much money on drug tests so you can house 2,500 people and each drug test costs, you know, in bulk, $9.99 and you're doing drug tests on every single person every day? That million dollars is gone. It's just a billion. A billion is not going to be gone fast, but you got to be gone Minnesota fast. That's what Melissa Pete says, the children. Yeah. Did she repeat it? Yeah. So I just focus on the children. Yeah. Get the children out of where they're at, but then where are we putting them? And who's, who's keeping them? Because I've been watching these children documentaries, and what they've been doing to these kids is really, it really pisses me off. Even you know? priests. You know, those priests, did you guys see the priest one, the priest documentary, what they were doing to those kids in Canada? Ooh. And I'll tell you, and I'll tell you what, South Park told me. What? South, South Park, Park told you about it? 
He loves South Park. Oh, well, he grew up, I guess. They're always right, man. They've always been right this whole time. Whatever. Everything. So who's behind South Park? I have no idea. That's what you need to go figure out. Maybe it's somebody who knows a lot about a lot, just like me. And, I, and then I decide, not me, me, but just yeah. like me, and I have a comic strip. I'm starting I started to, a comic thing I'm now. Start, I'm starting to wonder. South Park actually showed how God, God, how God looks. I'm starting to wonder if they're right. Oh, snap. Yeah. Did they? Yeah, they did. I didn't watch. I never watched like that. Yeah, and it wasn't nice. Was it wasn't nice. No, it was not. Was it like an aura? Aura? It, it was kind of like a. a per it wasn't like a person, was it? No. It was a thing. You no, know, he was like a, a com combination of a bunch of animals and. Yeah. Like yeah. What did they know? I don't know. I mean. I, I, by what they're, by what what I've seen, and by how many times I've seen that they that they're right, I feel like maybe they. They know right. something you don't. Yeah. You're so smart. That's right. You look down when I'm washing your face. That's that's absolutely smart, man. Did you put my table outside? Yes. Don't I feel that look? Really? Yeah. Oh, I get it ready, but don't leave it out there with like no one looking at it. <laughs> That's a good table, man. Yeah, I got a text message at like. Go see what time that text message was. Was it 2 a.m.? They said they want, I haven't replied yet, I've been so busy, but she said, Dee, I want your table, just like it, with the risers and everything. Can you help me buy it? And I'm like, yes, but it's 2 o'clock in the morning or whatever. I have to go look at the time. It was really early. I'm glad my phone wasn't on. Lynn Trickler said, oh, the Catholic Church thing is worldwide and bigger than drugs and guns. He's talking about Rome, and Rome too, I bet they were doing that. What? And you know what, it's a part of the city too, in Rome. I'm talking about like, I'm talking about these South Park episodes aren't like brand new, they're like, they were aired in like 2000, 2002 or 2001, you know, so they've known since that, since that time.
get a towel. You can sit, you know. <laughs> so you guys smart. don't forget that everything we use or everything you guys see us use in our live streams, anything to the table, to the um, towel. what the dog is sitting on, to the towel, to to Didi's um, deodorant, whatever yeah. you guys need, it's on our website at myfavoritegroomer.com. And if it's not, just email me. I will get it to you. Yeah. Right, Buffy? Buffy's like, this is what I need, Didi. Do you have it? I was like, yeah, I do. To so. Didi's uh, bra type, Didi's uh, whatever you guys need, it's there. Yep, even the tub. <laughs> we'll send you links to the tub. We're not shipping that. <laughs> I'm not being. I'm not. But, I'm not trying know, to be funny. I'm being serious. For the right price, we would definitely come out and build it for you. Or I would just get someone to do it. You want to just lay down? You want to just rest now? No, can't see no more. <laughs> I think that's just a happy look, maybe. I think it's just habit when she comes in for grooming. I don't know that it's all the time. I don't know. I don't hang out with her. But every groom, it's the same way. But she's happy. Yeah. She's not stressed or upset. Not that I believe. Yeah. She would be jumping around. Just, and uh, don't forget to hit the like button, people. Donate a couple bucks, support the stream. We go live every once in a while. Lately we've been going live because we've been super busy, but we do do lives. Today I was not going to go live. I turned around, I had already turned the computer off. And what I did was I ended up recording it instead. And then I turned around and David's live. And I'm like, David, you have a lot to do. I wanted to hook you guys up. Cause David has a lot of work and for him to stop and keep recording and go live. He's over here chit-chatting and he's not getting the work done. That I need um, him to have done. I'm getting the work done. I'm waiting for the battery to charge, though. I'm like, dude, don't go live, man. I'm busy. I was like, you're busy. I need you to focus on the stuff you need to get done. It's, imp it's important. No, it's okay, Dee Dee. He goes, you're going live now. Click. <laughs> well, clean your ears while you're laying down here. Shall I try to mess with your toenails while you're laying down? No. Otherwise, we'll blow, blow dry them everywhere, won't we? So I'll do the toenails later. Later. Let's go get the blow dryer going. Chilling. Are you chilling, girl? I'll give you a quick break. Give you a quick break. I'm about to blow dry yourself. I don't know if I'm going to do it all the way. Yeah, I don't have down here no blow dryer. You did this to me last time. 
So ear cleaner, uh, this is what we use now. It's a Esprit ear cleaner. You can find it on My Favorite Groomer under, under face, feet, and ears. And you can get the bigger bottle. If, you have a, if you're gonna have dogs and you're gonna do this, buy it once, man, and don't buy it for like a year or six months. You know what I mean? Okay. All right, girlfriend. We're gonna blow dry you, okay? Uh, I cleaned your ears. We're gonna do your tail nose after. Okay, you can lay there while I blow dry you. If you don't want to hear the blow dry hit mute, and while I'm doing this, you guys can go like the video. You know, check your notifications. Turn the bell off, on, and then back on, off and on, and then choose your. Now YouTube's got this new thing. Choose your. What you want to be notified. So go ahead and go do that. Get your, and then, you know, I sell them for 99 cents, and look how destroyed mine are. Just get some goggles to cover your eyes while you're blowing all this stuff around. I think they're 99 cents on my website. They're cheap because, you know, you just buy a bunch. It's just something to cover your eyes with. Here we go. Or popping back and stuff and it's kind of stressful so let me just take it easy our honor you can this is why I like running my own business you can decide how you want to do it and then just work with the animal you're working with Fragile. You're so fragile. I can feel your bone just creaking. Okay, stay over there. You wagging your tail? Yeah. Are you happy? Don't get too happy. Don't get too happy. Don't get too happy. Oh, get too happy. Oh, All right, girl. Hi, yeah. You're happy? Oh, don't get too happy, huh? My shirt's all wet now. Thank goodness it's gonna dry fast. Okay, okay, it's okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're okay. I got you right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're so happy. You're so happy, yeah. Okay, gotta back this up a little bit.
You are just the cutest. You're just the cutest. Yes, you are. Okay, let's see here. I gotta throw this over here. Is that over there? Let me get my seven blade going here. Lift the, lift the table. excited, isn't she? She's ready to be done. Get your template, do that sanitary stuff, tummy stuff. Template is the safest, in my opinion. Well, I've been taught it's sure the safest is template. Do that with, without like hiking up the leg because you can't do that here.
I'm glad I saw some of you guys are happy we went live. Uh, you could thank David for that. It's really hard when you go live. You have to, you know, consider other people's feelings. If you're busy, you have to chit chat. Rather just focus and work. Still a little wet, it's kind of sticking to my scissor here. Some people are like, if you cut wet hair, it dulls out your stuff. Maybe. Maybe if you did it all the time, it probably would. But I don't have a problem with that. Put your foot down. You want to put your foot down? No, you don't want to put your foot down yet. Okay, thanks. You want me to have this one? You want me to hold this one? Hmm? I'll hold your paw for a minute. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hey, put it down. Put it down. Thank you. That was so sweet of you. Yeah. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> You're so sweet. Okay, I gotta trim your trim your ears. Get your ear shears out. They're called ear shear on my website. I almost think I might be sold out. I have to go look today. I know I sold out of something, something. let me think, the Curve 7.5. This dark skin is, is pink. That's just the color of her skin, man. <laughs> Come on, people. See? Pink. Not they. Pink. What color is your skin? Brown. What color is your skin on your booty? Pink. <laughs> what color is your ear? What color are my nails? Pink. Pink. What color of her paws? Pink, see? Pink. This is the color of her skin. <laughs> yeah, I know, but the other person's like, why is her skin pink? I already, I already know where they're going with that. Right, well, maybe. You want me to hold my hand? You want to hold my hand? Here. <laughs> you tell, you tell, tell me yeah, she is she not is. smart. She's not she talking smart, to me. Man. She's totally talking to me. We're almost done, sweetie, okay? <laughs> She's been talking to me the whole time. And someone's going to be like, Didi, you don't even know what you're talking about. You could just watch and I don't have to say anything.
I know, I'm going to get you off soon, okay? Let me round this. You want to hold my hand again? You do? Okay, okay. Maybe your feet are sore too, huh? Because your legs and everything. I know. Okay, let me check your um, toenails and then we'll go from there, okay? We'll wrap it up. Quit messing around. So you got this disability here. Get your toenails going, okay? I left my dog up stand over there, so I'm going to have to do maybe some support here. I'm bring you down so I can support you a little bit. Okay? Can you just look? I got you. I haven't got you. Good. Let me put my shoulder here for you. Stretch it a little bit here. Just straight back. Straight back. Straight back. Right, we'll do some pet silk cologne. Let me tell your mom that you're ready to go since your dog, the daughter, is picking up. Let me get you guys on the way. So minimal cage time. Hold on, hold on. Let me just tell her. Okay. So she can be on her way because I'm going to show YouTube something. Okay. Here we go. So the way she walks because of her disability and her joints and her. Uh, meniscus and her ACLs and stuff like that I'm going to show you that she can't bend her legs like normal and you can really see right here when I try to show you this check this out she walks on her tippy toes she walks on these two toes only these two toes I trim the nails because they're they're not hitting the ground can you imagine walking just on your tippy toes here look there the, the nails here I cannot take anything off it's directly the vein right there this is the vein right there. It's as if you dremeled these every day. The, she walks on these two, right? Let's show them this one. Just let me show, show them this one. So I trimmed this one and this one. The, these two, is she walks on her tippy toes, look. So I just showed you this one and this one. She walks on her tippy toes on her two front nails. Isn't that crazy? You're here for her? Were you outside? Huh? Were you outside? No, no. Oh yeah, we're done. I just texted mom. Did okay. you know? Did she tell you already? I just stopped. I'm on YouTube live right now. Really? Say hi. Uh -huh. So I'm on YouTube live and I'm showing them how she walks on her first two. Do you know she walks on these two toes? Yeah. Can you tell when she's walking around? She just walks on those two <laughs> digits. Did you know that? Yeah. She's, she's yeah, been yeah. struggling recently. Has she? Like she really? Uh, recently has been struggling more than normal? Really? You noticed it? Mm -hmm. uh, can you show me? Oh yeah, you didn't watch it on YouTube? <laughs> Is that your auntie? Is that your auntie or your mommy? Sister. Oh, sister. <laughs> See these two toes, these two toes she walks on and these yeah. two I have to trim. They don't touch the ground at all. Uh, Same thing with here though. So she walks on those two toes. Like she uses them all the time. That's why they stay so ground down. All the way to the vein. You get her. You get her. I don't have to cut that nail. There's nothing to cut. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're so happy. Are you so happy they came and see? You're gonna, you're gonna, this is dangerous, girl. 
She's so yeah, happy. She's she doesn't get down the stairs at all anymore. Really? She used to. Yeah. A week ago. Yeah. So like. How about a yeah. month ago? Uh, about a week ago, when it started. Like now a month ago, she's like, can't really like, go down the gets, stairs anymore. Yeah. She like gets to the edge and is like, and then she puts one paw and then she like jumps back. Really? And then she like puts her puts her feet down and then she sits her butt on the stairs. And how old and is she? Nine. Nine. Yeah. Nine or eight. Yay! Yay! Pal. Okay, hold here, here. Show them. She loves to grab her leash here, so she's got her little leash here herself. Watch this. Grab your leash. Grab your leash. Take it. Here. Come here. Show YouTube. Come here. Show YouTube. Grab your leash. Here you go. Grab your leash. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Take it. Take it to Sissy. Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Your dad already paid everything, so so much I think. Bye. See you later. She's so happy. And she's Lolly's such a good dog, isn't she? Wow. You know, we talked about this the other day, like when you have a pet and they've been through so much, they seem like that they're the best pets ever. I think I found my I can't see right now. Hold on. Oh no, I'm just standing too close to the camera. Okay, see you on the gaming channel. David will see you on the gaming channel. Um hmm. let me go this way with it. Okay, that's great. So will you be live next week too? Uh, no, I won't be live next week. And if I am, it will be a surprise. We might go live on the gaming channel. Next week? Yeah. So we'll next week I might not channel. be live at all. I'm not sure. You guys, have, it'll be a surprise. Make sure you have your if you guys have notification it, um, bell. Go and subscribe to our gaming channel. Go subscribe to our gaming channel because we might go live over there. And... Even though you don't like gaming, just be sure to just have it live just so that you guys can... Um, we do things on both channels, yeah. so if you're not on one and you're on the other, you might miss something. All right, you guys. Oh, Rosalinda just ordered from us. Rosalinda, did you just order from us? Go check her last name. Yeah, that's De Fergalaski. It. I recall. Is that Canada? No. Because I called someone from Canada last night to check on the groom moves to make sure that's what they wanted to do. And she was like, yes. And she was so happy I talked to her, man. No, this is the mask with the drops. The mask with the drops. Oh, yeah. She gave us a little bit of dough, a few 50 cents yeah. donation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, girl. She ordered some masks. She ordered two different style masks. I called her on the phone, talked to her. Yeah, I remember. I personally do all the orders, all right? He personally name. handles the orders, and then if I have to get involved, I get involved, and I'm the one that makes the calls. So thank you so much for your <laughs> for your orders. Thank you. It means a lot to us. That emoji. That's <laughs> <laughs> like the Fortnite person. Let's see him over here. Huh? Okay, he's not in there. He's too tall to be in there, man. Illinois. Cool. Wow, what? I'm shy. I'm so sorry, Chastity. I'm so sorry to hear that. Suicide is definitely happening, and um, you got to be... I, I would just be talking to people you love regularly, like daily. Check on people you love daily. They're not going to tell you uh, what they're thinking. Wow. They're not going to tell you what they're thinking, you guys. you got to check on your peeps. Um... That's sad. So thank you so much for being here, for watching this. Thank you, David, for putting me live out here for you guys. I wasn't supposed to go live today. I really wasn't. I had just shut the computer off. I was like, this is too much. David has a lot of work to do. So David sacrificed the hours of stuff he has going on so I gotta put to be out here time. for you guys. And he put me on the spot. Uh, he does little things like that sometimes. I got to do overtime later. I have been so uh, business owner that's what you got what you got to do got to work extra hard so um, thank you for your orders uh, make sure you put your order in pre 100 and almost 150 subscribers Man, we've, been, we've been riding on 100 I want to say like, you guys for, might not be even getting notified. I want to say either. out of the hundred thousand you guys don't get notifications maybe they don't even have the bell on 
you guys not have the bell on next to the video? It's like bell, ding, ding, ding. Turn the bell on. Do you on. have the bell on? But it's always like that. It's like 1%. What's he, is he doing circles around me right now? Stop. Okay, I got to go, you guys. I got a toenail trim, another dog to groom, and this is... <laughs> oh, did I just do circles around you? I did not notice. Sorry. What's this? Ashu ashu su. Ashu. Ashu ashu su. Where'd you see that? Right here. He's been saying it the whole time. David's sometimes a rebel puppy. Ashu ashu su. Ashu su. What does that mean? <laughs> You're welcome, Marchero, for the package. I hope you enjoy it. Sucker was expensive on shipping, man. He goes, Didi, are you sure you want to do this package? Is the shipping is this much? And I was like, yeah. I was like, load it up. I was like, take advantage of the, the all the weight that we can get in there. <laughs> There's different brackets of weight. It's shipping international, and Arturo is in Belize. So different weights. I think, like, what well, had to be 3.59 ounces or less. Or yeah, it goes from, like, 10 bucks to... 19 40 bucks, I mean. 25 to like 30 and then 60. So Canada is the most extreme that it goes from like 19.95 to 40. That's it. It just feels bang as soon as you go and not you're not even over 4 pounds yet. It's disgusting. As much flights as we have going in and out in and out you would think you'd go, "Hey, throw that on that American Airlines flight. Hey, throw that on Alaska flight." No, that's not how it works. I got my notification 59 minutes after you started. That's Can you guys clear. all write YouTube and say that? Can you guys say, hey, you guys, you guys are not notifying us in time. Maybe they need a, like a reset button can. on something. Bummer. So I wonder if we should try to utilize, we used to, uh, only just for a short period of like the pre-planning. So every Friday at such and such time, we're always live. That way it's consistent and people that are catching the video in the evening know like, oh, this Friday at 10 a.m., uh, Central Standard Time, she's going to be on. You know what I mean? Maybe we got to do something like that, you know? Wait, Arturo, what type of money do you guys use? I know, Mikio, I'm just saying. Is it pesos? Belize? Yeah. Belize? Money? I looked it, Does I Belize looked, have pesos? Well, I looked it up and most of the, like... The Belize dollar, maybe. Cities are in Spanish, so I'm like, is it pesos? Is it pesos? I'm not sure. I went to Belize. Belizean, we used cash. Belizean we used, money. They took... They took American dollars. It's Belizean money. Wow. All right, I guess we're going to bounce. All right, we'll see you later. Subscribe to the channel, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks for being here. Thanks to you. I'm very blessed to have you here sharing my world with me. So thank you so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you did not, smash the dislike button. And make sure you comment below your favorite part on this dog's grooming. And if you have a dog that also has disabilities like this one does, and maybe even a dog that has had ACL surgery or double ACL surgery or meniscus surgery like this dog has. So uh, her, this Springer Spaniel is amazing. And also does your dog shake your, your hand like she shook my hand all the way through the groom? It's amazing, man. So love you guys. Prayers to Chastity and her family. And please be there for your loved ones because we don't have them for as long as we wish we did. Love you guys. Thank you. Talk to you later. Thanks, Archero. <laughs> All right, peace out. Peace out.